Hey guys, what is up? This is Brad, the budding watch enthusiast here with you on Watch This. Today, we are looking at the debut watch from a new micro brand called Iconic Timepieces. This is the Iconic Hampton Bay. So obviously the gradient dial is a design choice that you're seeing more and more, especially on micro brand divers today. Uh, and I think it looks great on a dive watch when it's implemented well. And on this particular model of the Hampton Bay, I really dig it. You see it starts with that stark white in the center and then it kind of fades into this very kind of ocean blue color. It's a much darker blue once you get to the outside, but the kind of mid range color that you see around the mid part of the dial is this really slick looking ocean blue. Uh, I really dig that color. I think it's pretty sweet. Now that does transition into this very stark white bezel, which is fully loomed, uh, but this bezel is really gonna make or break the watch for you. When I was wearing it, uh, it's always the first thing that jumped out on the watch whenever I look down. Uh, again, in low light, it looks pretty cool. Uh, it's a good look, especially because uh, once the production model comes out, they're actually switching from the greenish looking C3 Superluminova to the bluish BGW9 Superluminova, which I think, especially on this model in particular, is gonna look fantastic. But I have to admit that I do wish that the bezel uh, came in the same color as you see on the outside of the dial here. I think that might've been a really sharp look. I do really dig the ceramic insert on the bezel as well, and I think it's a fantastic choice for this watch. Now, I love watches that use overlapping lugs because I think it offers uh, some very interesting looks that you can get. The lugs that you see here on the Hampton Bay are no exception. Uh, I don't even know what to really call them. Uh, I guess we're going to go, I'm going to call them an hourglass style lug because of how they work in conjunction with one another when you look at the entirety of the watch. They afford the watch uh, the ability to look pretty unique from the standpoint of the lugs without, you know, running into a ridiculous strap width. As it stands, the strap width is 22 millimeters. You don't really want to go any wider than that. Uh, but like I said, very cool looking part of this watch for sure. I'm also a big fan of the, you know, sort of diamond theme that is running throughout this entire watch. I mean, you see it on the hour markers, you see it on the pip at the top of the bezel, you see it on the seconds hand with the lollipop there, and the hands are also kind of shaved in that matter as well. It gives the Hampton Bay a really distinct, sharp look without sacrificing anything in the way of legibility because the watch is extremely legible from a glance. The only really big disappointment I would say is gonna be the finishing uh, both on the watch and the bracelet because it's just kind of standard. Um, I also don't necessarily agree with the decision to go with vertical brushing here because between the way the brush strokes are patterned and the kind of thickness that you have here of this bezel, it actually makes the watch appear a little bit taller uh, than its 13 millimeter height would suggest that it actually is. Now that height is tampered down by the fact that you do have that flat sapphire crystal that's running across the top there, and that's a good thing as well. I just would have liked to see a little bit more because I think that nicer finishing uh, might have really accentuated the unique look, the kind of ornate look that this watch has. And of course, powering the watch is the Salita SW200-1. I'm really appreciating uh, the slow shift of some micro brands to kind of run towards Salita movements. Personally, in my own experiences, I found low-level Salitas to outperform uh, low-level ETA movements, and you don't have to worry about paying the ETA premium as well. So again, if you're looking for a micro brand that has a Swiss movement, uh, the Hampton Bay is definitely gonna have you covered there. Now, this watch is a prototype. There's gonna be several changes made to the watch by the time that you guys see it hit uh, its crowdfunding on Kickstarter. The iconic logo on the watch is actually gonna be a stainless steel applied logo. Uh, the bracelet is gonna change from a Grand Seiko style bracelet that's actually gonna taper uh, from 22 millimeters down to 18 millimeters at the clasp. The automatic 200 meter wording that you can see here below the Hampton Bay branding uh, is going to be reconfigured for better visibility and balance. Uh, I mentioned the loom is gonna change from C3 to BGW9, big thumbs up in my book there. And then the hands are actually gonna be thicker as well. And I'll kind of show you a render of what the hands should look like on the final production models. Uh, in my book, all of those changes are good changes for this Hampton Bay that are going to make the watch better. Now the Kickstarter for this watch launches on March 30th, 2020. Uh, the pricing of the watch at retail is gonna be $675. Early birds on the Kickstarter will be able to get it for as low as $450. 
So I hear people complain about micro brand dive watches that they're just kind of the same old thing over and over again. I can definitely tell you with certainty uh, that the iconic timepiece is Hampton Bay is definitely not the same old thing. And overall for me, you know, my minor quibbles with the finishing set aside, I do think this is definitely a solid debut watch from iconic timepieces, the Hampton Bay. So that's gonna do it for my review of the iconic timepieces, Hampton Bay. If you guys enjoyed this video, click the thumb down below. If you loved it, click the red subscribe button and subscribe to watch with us. And if you enjoy this content, definitely head over to my channel as well, The Budding Watch Enthusiast, and subscribe there also. The link is in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you all the next time here on Watch With Us.